In the story of the transfiguration that we have been journeying with, we see Peter doing what he so often does. He misunderstands and he puts his foot in it yet again. Peter experiences consolation as he witnesses Jesus' transformation and his conversation with Elijah and Moses, and he mistakenly suggests that they make tents so that they can stay on top of the mountain and continue to live this experience. But to live on the mountaintop is not an option. Almost immediately after they hear the voice coming from the cloud, the moment dissipates and Jesus and the disciples must come down the mountain back into the challenges of their context and their ministry. We also tend to want to cling to certain experiences and ways of doing things. It can be challenging to come back from a significant retreat where we experienced God especially powerfully in prayer, or perhaps from an unforgettable holiday with family, and to engage again with the usual commitments of our work, our family, or our community lives. Now, perhaps more than ever, as we grapple with the daily challenges of living in a pandemic, it is tough to live in the ordinary. And yet, the memory of our transfiguration moments can give us courage and a sense of meaning and purpose at a time when our everyday lives don't seem to make very much sense. These special moments of grace, these mountaintop experiences are given to us, often before or after difficult experiences, to encourage and support us, just as Jesus and the disciples were given this moment. They are not a permanent way of being, but are experiences that give us hope and that allow us to continue to work to bring about the values of Jesus in our own families, communities, and workplaces. Let's consider today, where are my ordinary experiences of living out my call as a beloved daughter or son of God? And what mountaintop experiences sustain me now and give me courage and hope?